Hi again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Keeping It Real with Coach Neal. Alongside head UNCW women's soccer coach Chris Neal, I'm Eric Rue. And coach, you split two games on the road this weekend, losing a tough one at Virginia Tech on Friday, but bouncing back and winning a wild affair at UNCG. What did you see from your team from the start of the weekend to the end of the weekend, especially considering the fact that this was the first time that they've played two games in a weekend on the road? Yeah, it was certainly a test. Virginia Tech is an ACC opponent, very athletic, uh, very skilled, and we fell just a little short there, but we had a chance to equalize that game late, and from a total weekend standpoint, going on the road then to UNCG for the final game on Sunday at a 2 p.m., and it was pretty hot. It was a real, real test for our kids. So what I saw was a tremendous amount of toughness. You know, I've inherited a group that is ready for the fight and UNCG was a wild affair. You know, we had a 1-0 lead and then a 3-1, a 2-1 lead, a 3-1 lead, and then a 4-2 lead. Uh, defensively, we were uh, probably not as alert as we would like to be for 90 minutes. And I think the heat and just being early in the season and just um, all the external variables were tough for us to manage, but we did. Friday night, you go down by a couple of goals to Virginia Tech. You close to within 2-1. to one. You're unable to get that tying marker, but the resiliency of this team after falling behind by that 2 nothing margin to an ACC opponent, what does that say about the, the ability for your team to bounce back and play for a complete 90 minutes? We've talked a lot about response, and they did it against VCU. VCU leveled, and then we responded immediately with a goal. Um, Virginia Tech went up 2-0. We responded immediately with a goal. Uh, we need to work on two different types of responses. Uh, one is after the opponent scores, and one is after we score. Um, honestly, USCG was, was both of those. You know, They scored, we scored, and vice versa. So they, they're tough, and they don't seem to be bothered by things that happen. They're, they're moving on to the next action. They're thinking about what they're doing next. You win that game on Sunday against UNCG, a 4-3 final that was back and forth and really wasn't decided until the last few minutes. When you're playing a Friday-Sunday schedule, both games on the road, how tough is it to bounce back from Friday night knowing that you have very little time to prepare for that Sunday opponent, especially when you're traveling from a place like Blacksburg, Virginia to Greensboro, North Carolina? Well, it wasn't as tough as it could have been because the weather in Blacksburg was beautiful on that Friday night. So we were fortunate to play in the 60s uh, from a temperature standpoint, and uh, that helped us a lot for Sunday. We also played a significant amount of bodies on Friday night. And that was planned so that Sunday we would have something left in the tank because we looked at the forecast and it was going to be pretty steamy. Um, but it's difficult. You know, the athletes have to recover. I'm not a big fan of Friday, Sunday. When we go into conference play at Thursday, Sunday and moving forward with our schedule in years to come, I'm going to look to play more Thursday, Sunday than Friday, Sunday. It's just not realistic for an athlete that puts in six or seven miles of physicality on a Friday night to turn around and be even 75% on that Sunday in the heat. So um, we budgeted for it and we used our bodies well and we had enough left in the tank to hold off UNCG on the Sunday. Defensively, Katie Broderick got to play the entire game, both contests this weekend. And, and for her, she hadn't seen a lot of time last year and the early part of this season. How important is it for her to go through that entire 90 minutes and be able to go through the ups and downs of a full college match? There's no substitute for experience, and that's exactly what she's getting right now. You know, she really kept us in the game on Friday night. Uh, she made some big-time saves for us, um, and I'm happy for her. To, you know, we're going to need her down the stretch big time, and just getting experience as a goalkeeper is priceless. There's really no substitute for it, so she's done well. You've scored 10 goals in four games, and those 10 goals have come as a result of eight different goal scorers. Through the first four games, obviously you want to score goals, but are you even a little surprised that you've been able to put up these numbers so early in the season and by the number of goal scorers that you've had? No, uh, I'm not surprised. And I, I saw this potential when I took this opportunity a month ago. And actually, Kirsten Boots, I think, mentioned that after the game yesterday, I think we've had how many, eight different goal scorers at this point? Yep. Um, so we were going to be committed to scoring goals, and that's the, more, that's the name of the game. You've got to score goals to win games. And they've really just bought in to what we're trying to accomplish from a, a system standpoint going forward, how we're going to create goals and the run of play. We're also getting the occasional set-piece goal, which is uh, a huge weight off our shoulders. Um, 
and they're, we're getting into dangerous spaces a variety of different ways, which is uh, really entertaining. Uh, and that's what we want to do. We want to entertain our crowd when we're at home this weekend, and we want to entertain ourselves, quite frankly. You put the suitcases away for now. You have two games at home as you host the Courtyard by Marriott UNCW Soccer Invitational, Kent State Friday, Cleveland State on Sunday. How important is it to win at home and put results on the board at home, knowing that you've got a number of opportunities to play in front of your home fans coming up? Sure. Well, five of our first six were on the road, including the exhibitions. So it's been a grind. And we have some accumulation of fatigue at this point. So we've got to give our kids a couple of days off. But when in front of our home crowd on Friday night, you've got to win in front of your home crowd. You've got to inspire them with your work rate, with your teamwork, by being uh, entertaining. And then the crowd gets bigger the next game. So. That's what we're trying to do. Kent State's a very, very good opponent. Uh, picked to win their league. I believe they won their league last year as well. Just had a draw with an ACC team. Um, so Friday night's going to be a CAA-level atmosphere for us, um, and we've got to treat it as such. Well, Coach, we wish you all the best of luck this weekend. We'll chat with you again next week, and hopefully we'll be talking about a couple more wins. Thanks, Eric. Reminder that both the games this weekend against Kent State and Cleveland State can be found on the Seahawk Digital Network by going to uncwsports.com slash SDN. But make sure you come out and check out the Seahawks in action by going to uncwsports.com slash buy tickets. This has been another edition of Keeping It Real with Coach Neal. Alongside UNCW head women's soccer coach Chris Neal, I'm Eric Root for the Seahawk Digital Network.